Hello, David Ansari here of the Center for Risk Analysis. Uh, there is a lot of chatter on social media and in the mainstream press that President Ramaphosa has been advised by his cabinet as well as by the National Coronavirus Command Council uh, to lift the lockdown level three regulations and to move to level two. Uh, this would precipitate the lifting of the prohibitions on alcohol and tobacco as well as the other restrictions on economic activity. Uh, seemingly an encouraging step in the right direction, but we would also urge some caution. I'm join, joined by Director of the CRA, Dr. France Crenier. Uh, we, uh, France, have been uh, discussing this likely move in our weekly risk alerts, which go out to clients every Monday morning. Uh, France, what is your perspective on this recent change? Yeah, we started seeing about two weeks ago in the infection data and in the R indicator, which uh, tracks the reproductive value of the virus or rate. It's the, it's the extent to which the pandemic is expanding or, or regressing. That South Africa had probably hit its peak. And uh, I just looked into the notes now and we said about two weeks ago that we expect an accelerated reopening into September and in Monday's note we said that we expect the government to start moving towards reopening over the next two weeks. We've got the announcement today that that advice has been given which is a very good and positive thing and I think that you can anticipate that there will be a great degree of economic reopening over the next two weeks and that South Africa should from a health policy perspective be uh, largely back to normal and open again into September. There's one risk in this though, David, and that is the, the great relief that this will bring. and may bring with it the idea that this is the beginning of the great South African recovery and that the South African economy is going to start to follow the sort of sharp Vs that we've seen in other economies after they lifted their lockdowns. And that might not be the case. And the reason is that South Africa entered this pandemic in a very much more fragile state, both politically and economically, than the great bulk of emerging or developed economies. And one way of considering why that was, what was the reason for that, is, is to think of a lockdown. And that in many respects, the consequences of the last decade of the Zuma era and the very slow moves uh, towards reform uh, thereafter, after Nazareth, once Mr. Zuma was removed, have meant that for much of the past decade, the South African economy has been in a degree of lockdown. Our mining clients would agree with that, given their experiences of the charter. A lot of the investment environment feels that way because of the prospects of expropriation, and not just over land, but, but over uh, uh, prescribed assets, uh, uh, financial assets, uh, pension funds, and the like. There's significant reforms necessary in, to unlock the labor market and, and lift that lockdown to allow the, the now vastly expanded army of unemployed back to work. And I think that as the narrow regulations around the pandemic lockdown are lifted, which they will be into September, perhaps a bit more slowly than they should, or perhaps we'll be surprised on the upside there. But uh, our advice is to consider that this needs to be a process of a much expanded a reopening and the lifting of the many policy lockdowns that predated the pandemic and remain in place. Short of that, uh, South Africa might draw the sentiment benefit of the global recovery for some time. But even that uh, uh, wasn't clear into the end of last week that the, the, the RAND and the gold price were were moving in different directions last week, which for a, a commodity currency like South Africa is an alarming indication. Uh, some of my colleagues have just produced a graphic uh, that we're gonna use in, in a seminar later this week of how the, the spread between a 10 year bond yields in the US and in South Africa has opened, always a sign of political risk. So as you see signs of reopening, which you're going to see in the next two weeks, bear in mind that, that for South Africa to follow the rest of the world into a real a post-COVID economic recovery, far more than the narrow regulations, the healthcare regulations uh, around the, the pandemic lockdown will need to be lifted in South Africa 
to make such a real economic recovery possible. And there's, there's a very great risk in that, of course. All right. Thank you, Franz. Well, CRA clients are invited to a webinar to discuss these and other issues on Friday afternoon. Uh, that's at one o'clock. Uh, details in the description. Uh, you will have to be a CRA client in order to attend that webinar. But uh, it, just to clarify, the president has not announced as yet uh, that he will be uh, making this uh, statement, making these changes. Uh, this is just a hearsay at the moment, but uh, our expectation is that we will hear some kind of announcement this week. So please do uh, subscribe to this channel for more updates and alerts and do get in touch with us if you have any questions. Thanks, Franz, and uh, until next time, take care.